Well, good afternoon and welcome along to Kenilworth Road. It's the final home game of the season, Sky Bet League 2, Luton Town versus Forest Green Rovers here on a very wet April afternoon. The Hatters then unchanged, I think, for the fourth game running here for this fixture. And they'll be looking to take three points and hope that Accrington drop points in their fixture which I believe has already kicked off at home to Lincoln but Lincoln themselves want the points because they can still get a top three finish if results go their way as well. I can tell you Luton Town are wearing a brand new kit ready for next season. It's a, an all orange shirt. All three kits are changing. Just a quick one to let you know that uh, the home shirts will be sponsored uh, by Indigo Three Residential, the away shirts up. by Star Platforms, and the third shirt by Northern Gas and Power. And I'll tell you more details about those shirts, which will be available to order online uh, today. Uh, those at the ground will also be able to pick one up if they're quick, either at half time or after the final whistle. Talk to you about what's happening after the final whistle as well later on, but uh, it's a carnival atmosphere here at Kenilworth Road as our referee Lee Collins gets us underway, Luton attacking from right to left towards the Oak Road end in this first half. And the ball's gone out on this near side for a throw in to Forest Green Rovers, who 13 wins, eight draws and 23 defeats this season. They're uh, 20, uh, 37 points behind Luton Town, currently in second place. She and they're trying to shepherd the ball out of play. It eventually goes for a goal kick. Well played there, Sheehan. So, the hat is in their usual diamond formation. Just having a look to see what Forest Green are doing. I think they're playing a 4 4 2. Just, see. Might just be one up front with Deutsch. Long ball downfield, looking for Collins, headed away. And now Stacey gets a knee to it. Infield to Sheehan. Sheehan heads it on. As uh, now Collins chests it down to Mpanzu, Mpanzu helps it wide onto this left-hand side for Potts. Potts down the field to Collins, Collins gives it back to him. Potts chips one up, looking for Elliot Lee, but it's headed away there by Rawson. Potts is uh, looking to try and get involved, but he can't at the moment. And out on the far side, it's the left-back pushing forward, Scott Laird. Laird looking to go down the wing. Ollie Lee goes across, but the cross has come in from Laird. Headed away by Ray. Finds Elliot Lee. Lee with a bit of space outside of his boots. He's played it down the field. It's a very slippery surface for the Hatters and the Forest Green this afternoon. Collins tries to play it forward, but it's gone through to a Forest Green player. They're in uh, black and white, and I'm very grateful. They've actually kept white backs to their shirts and uh, black numbering, so it is easy to read their numbers. As the Hatters there have been penalised, and whether it's an off the ball incident there, but there's a free kick to Forest Green. Of course, they were the visitors when Luton won the league here in the conference, and they were presented with a trophy. A 4 1 victory that afternoon, back on April the 21st, Andre Gray scoring twice. Free kick then halfway inside the Luton half, slightly left of centre, chipped in by Laird, header away there by Potts, Elliot Lee on the back there gets a block to it, still with Forrest Green inside the area and Panzu's missed kicked it but it's a fortunate one because it's gone to Ollie Lee and Lee clears downfield looking to put the ball into a Luton attack but it's gone out of play and it will be throwing on the halfway line to the visitors. taken short. And Forest Green just playing it around now along the halfway line with Clements over on this right hand side. It's now Collins, the right back. Also there is Brown. And now it's laid back into midfield. Still with Forest Green then. Collins the right back lays it down the line looking for the run of Osborne. Osborne's cross is blocked by Potts and it's out of play for a corner to Forest Green with three and a bit minutes on the clock. It's nil-nil here at Kenilworth Road. Will be a, throw, uh, a corner kick then in front of the David Priest stand. Of course, a sellout this afternoon from Luton Town fans. I understand there's uh, about 120 Forest Green Rovers fans. There are a few empty seats in Oak Road. 
slightly surprising. Left footed corner comes in then, deep to the far post. Header away by Ray, falls to the edge of the area. The shot comes in, charged down by Sheehan. McCormack's there, McCormack lays it back to Stacey. Stacey looks to get it onto his left foot, lays it down the field. McCormack gets a chest to it. One back by Forrest Green, but now Potts' first time ball forward is a bit loose. And Collins for Forrest Green can clear back down the field. There could have been three Collins on the pitch this afternoon. But uh, the keeper's been changed, so Belford comes in. And then there is the, the right back Collins has come in for Forest Green and make three changes from their side that uh, drew with Yeovil in midweek. Now Ray lays it forward to Ollie Lee on the far side. And now comes all the way back to Shea, right footed, good kick downfield from him. Header away there by Rawson, intercepted by Sheehan, laid off by um, Panzu. And on this left hand side it's Potts. Potts lays it back to Sheehan. Sheehan looks down the line. Right. One way then the other, Sheehan goes to Ray alongside him. Ray now, long ball downfield. It's uh, just intercepted by Laird. It goes out of play on the far side and James Collins takes the throw quickly to Ollie Lee. Lee on the far side. Flicks it, trying to get the ball away, but Lee's still in possession. Back to Stacey. Stacey looks up, intercepted. And now Stacey once more. No, blocked by Mpanzu. And then that falls kindly for Forrest Green to build an attack. They lay it forward. Sheehan does well to intercept. And Sheehan can spread the ball out wide. Just to tell you a bit about the new kit, it's very orange shirt with uh, a navy trim on the sleeves and then uh, on the shoulders. And as I say, Indigo Residential, the sponsors and estate agency. Sheehan now out to this left hand side to Potts. Potts looks up, infield ball to McCormack. McCormack flicks it forward to Panzu. Panzu looks to make a break down the line which he does now. Still Kelly going, challenge comes in on him. Still with Panzu. Cuts in field and is tripped by Clements and that will be a free kick to Luton Town. A bit of skill from Pelly Rudder from Panzu there. Opportunity to do something with this one. And Sheehan comes up. Great atmosphere around the ground this afternoon. Sheehan left footed then. Looks to curl it in. Oh, the afternoon it is as well. But it curls it into the area. Deep the far post. Potts is up at the head of the ball. Drops. Potts is there. The shot's blocked though by the keeper. And there's a Luton player down inside the six yard box. I can't quite see who it is at the moment. It's Ray back forward there. He gets to his feet now. And Cormac's got some time to look up. He's going to play it backwards though to Stacey. Ollie Lee was forward for him. Across the halfway line to Sheehan. Sheehan looks up. Sheehan with his time on the ball, chips one high, over the head of Hilton is it, and it's headed down by Forrest Green, they're just trying to keep it in but they don't do so, it's out for a corner kick, Luton's first of this first half, seven minutes played, Sheen goes over the other side of the ground this time, Crew have taken the lead at Crawley in League Two, Goal we've got in the Football League 2, Scarlet League 2. Sheehan, left footed, high ball, edge of the six yard box, it's over the head of Ray, it's volley clear there by Laird, Elliot Lee goes chasing after it, and Pans is there to support, Lee goes one way then turns, facing goal, down by the touchline, almost running out of space but he's still going Elliot Lee, bit of skill from him, cuts him forward once again, his brother's waiting, he's gone to Hilton though, Hilton takes a heavy touch but keeps the possession, flicks it off to Sheehan, Sheehan chips one up and Pans on the run out wide, and Pans controls it, drills the ball across the air, that's in by Collins, he's handled it, James Collins has handled it, rushing in there and I think he's going to pick up a yellow card for that, assistant referee on the far side, you can see that Collins had handled that one, Collins will go into the book in the ninth minute for uh, handling that ball for the ad as the uh, cross came in. Whipped in there though by Pelly Rudder from Panzu. Collins desperate to get on the end of it. Too desperate, stuck his hands out for uh, guide it into the net. Nil-nil it remains then with nearly nine minutes on the clock. Comes out wide to this right hand side. Collins. Field ball to Clements. Clements to Rawson. Rawson. 
to Clements. Clements, short pass, Holly Lee tries to get a boot out. Clements looks up, making a forward play. No, goes wide to Collins of Forest Green. Back in field to Clements. Now back out wide to Collins once more. Corey have equalised against Crew. Coventry have scored at Cheltenham. So they look to try and secure the playoff space. We play back now and it's a back pass here from Wilson. Hilton's come chasing after it. Belford's dealing with it. Chips it out to the far side. Then are in field by Forest Green. They've got possession through Hollis. Hollis on that left side. Stacey's with him. He's played it in field to Grubb. Grubb's got some space now. Making the run is Brown. Grubb with a shot from the edge of the area. Takes a deflection. Goes wide. And it will be a corner to Forest Green with 10 minutes on the clock here at Kenilworth Road. Laird will take it. And it's right hand side as they attack in front of the David Priest stand. Short ball right to the edge of the area. Curling cross comes in. It's taken a deflection header and out. It's another corner to Forest Green. Side. It's not a lot of pressure from the team that's uh, 20th in the league. Got their third corner of this first half. So we're on the other side, the top side of the brown men, in front of the executive boxes. Short one is taken. Now played back to Laird. Laird left footed, curls in, it's blocked by Ollie Lee. On the edge of the area, it's going to fall. Hollis chips one back up, but Shea's underneath it. And Shea can roll it out quickly for Hanzu on this left flank. Hanzu looks down the line. Hilton's in support. Hanzu takes it himself at the moment. Still with Kelly. Infield pass to McCormack. McCormack almost treads on the ball. Looks to push forwards. McCormack then through to Hilton. Hilton looks up, out wide. Plays it looking for Stacey. Stacey takes it away from Elliot Lee. Now gives him the ball. Lee cuts in field, pass to uh, Collins. Flicked off looking for Hilton, but it should have gone to Mpanzu. And now Forest Green can break. Potsdale slides in, brings it back to the Hatters and gives it to Sheehan. Sheehan crosses the halfway line. Sheehan now pushing forward. Flicks it to the outside of his boot to Elliot Lee. And Panzu takes over. Panzu takes a shot from the edge of the area. Does it take a deflection? No, says this referee. And it's out for a goal kick to Forest Green Rovers. Stephen to run it up the home to Exeter. It does affect uh, the playoffs and the top three potential. So Luton have won three, drawn two with Forest Green Rovers. Of course, all those previous games coming in the conference, the first time Forest Green have been promoted to the Football League this season. That has had a 6 1 victory back in October 2010 as a long ball downfield has gone all the way through to James Shea. Potts on this left side, short ball now to Sheehan, Sheehan gives it back to Potts, Potts now back to Shea, Shea controls, awkward one but left footed outside his area, he's cleared it downfield, as Wilson gets a touch to it, it's gone backwards to Hilton, Hilton runs into trouble there and uh, Hollis does well to defend that one and play it back to the keeper. Stacey puts a high cross into the area, over the head of Hilton. And Panzu's there, a header up by Forest Green. They can't get the ball away. Now they get a foot to it. And it's uh, Ollie Lee underneath it on the edge of the box. He manages to poke it forward, but Forest Green get a clearance onto it. And Sheehan is behind it. And now he'll look to come downfield. He's got some space ahead of him. He's got support out wide. Hilton is uh, used first of all. Hilton now back to Ollie Lee. Now Ollie uses Stacey out on the flank. Jack Stacey in field to Elliot Lee. Turns, faces the goal. His brother out wide with a bit of space. Ollie's there in possession. Curls one into the box. Hilton's looking to get there. Oh, what a save by the keeper. Danny Hilton can't believe that the keeper's got there. And he's somehow blocked that acrobatic effort from Hilton. In front of goal, the keeper's just thrown his body up in the air and has somehow blocked that one and it's gone behind for a goal kick, uh, a corner kick to the Hatters. Uh, incredible save there. It will be 
Sheehan to take it over on the far side. Second corner then for Luton. 14 and a bit minutes played. It's cold in. It's a flip on header. It's blocked by the keeper once again. He didn't know a lot about that one, Belford. It was uh, Potts and Ray, I think, were up. And they've got the header goalwards. It's hit Belford and come away to safety. McCormack still on possession. Lays it out wide, but it couldn't reach Hilton. It's intercepted by Collins of Forest Green. And Lee Collins brings it away. And now Elliot Lee puts some of them under pressure. They played the ball forward. Out wide, Lee Collins again for Forrest Green. Forward to Brown. And McCormack slips over on the wet turf. It's chipped up to the edge of the area. There's a chance here for Forrest Green on the edge of the box. Shot away by Deutsch, but uh, straight at James Shea. He scored 23 goals this season in the uh, league and two major cup competitions, Christian Deutsch. Very radical hand to finds Ollie Lee, plays it back to Glenn Ray. Ray forward to Ollie Lee now, just inside his own half. Play back to Ray. Ray to Sheehan. Sheehan looks up, out wide to the left-hand side to Potts. Potts forward to McCormack. McCormack in field to Mpanzu. Mpanzu to Elliot Lee. Lee making a break down this left-hand side. Still Lee going. He's looking for some support. He's got Potts outside of it. Lee tries to make his break through. Referee's not interested as Lee hits the deck. And Forrest Green can clear the danger. Ray chests it down. Forward pass to Ollie Lee, out wide. Lee looks up, finds Hilton. Hilton, well, he's under pressure, he's battered on. Feet into the ball, but it's uh, a foul. And Ollie Lee takes it in the wrong place. And referee Lee Collins, oh, another Collins. A Lee Collins for Forrest Green, and Lee Collins the referee this afternoon. Cormac uh, on the run, he's got Potts out wide. Chips it out, looking for him. Potts has had to check his run, can't get it. Potts saying he wanted it in the air. Out for a throw in to the homes, uh, to the visitors here at Kenworth Road, where it is nil nil with 16 and a bit minutes played. Just need to give a shout out to Nigel Green. Get well soon, Nigel. I know you're listening at home, recovering from uh, a recent operation. That comes from Cynthia and all your friends in the enclosure. Uh, get well there, Nigel. As she and lays it off to Ray. Tuned in on I follow Hatters and Hatters Vision inside the ground. Great to have your support as always as uh, this is the final game here at Kenilworth Road this season. Hatters fans certainly enjoying it. And it pops out on this left hand side. Potts lays it back to Shea. Shea looks up. Across the area to Ray. Ray looking forward. Ray takes it onto his right foot. Chips a high one down the field. It's too long. Hilton started to go for it. Offside flag goes up. The ball goes all the way through and out. It would have been a goal kick otherwise. So nil nil it remains then with 17 and a half minutes on the clock. Belford. Two saves so far to deny Luton Town. The over one, Mansfield nil. Scoreline coming in from League Two. <coughs> so it stands at Princeton are getting the point, but it's uh, all they need to confirm the championship. Flick on header there. It's Luton out winning either. Wickham is currently two points clear in Notts County and Exeter for that final spot, and four clear of Lincoln. Side. Cormac looks downfield, finds Potts, Potts down the line, Collins tries to flick it in but the, uh, his trailing leg caught the ball and now Ollie Lee goes chasing after it and on the far side Forrest Green have got possession and Hanzu goes over to that right side. So playing on both sides of the field and they've covered that good covering a lot of ground. Forward pass, they found Brown. Brown plays it in field. It's uh, inside the area. It's miscontrolled there by Deutsch and Ray can come away with it for the Hatters. Now he's going to give it back inside the area to Sheehan. Okay, 19 minutes played then here at Kenilworth Road. Forward ball to McCormack. McCormack now on to Elliot Lee. Lee turns. Elliot Lee on the run. Looking to cut in field. Now plays the forward pass to Collins. Collins puts a shot in. It's blocked. Hilton's there. Yeah! in the 
20th minute. It was a lovely ball by Elliot Lee out wide to Collins. Collins' shot was blocked once again by the keeper, but Hilton is there from close range to put it into the back of the net. And it's his 23rd goal. He's 21st in the Football League this season. And Hilton makes it 1 0 to Luton. Town. And they deserve that. Hilton there to pounce on Collins, though. Three pounds. Hilton is 1 0 to Luton Town here at Kenilworth Road. 20 minutes on the clock there. Hunter's lead. Hilton from close range. The player on the line can do a lot about it. The Luton fans celebrate by singing the name of their top scorer, Danny Hilton. James Collins now. And, uh, Collins has played one game more than Danny as well. This is fans celebrating that goal. Still raining here at Kenilworth Road. Collins on the right hand side for Forrest Green. James Collins was unlucky not to get the goal himself there. Lovely through ball from Elliot Lee. Lee Collins flicks the ball off from Panzu. Out for the throw on this near side. Forest Green will take it short. Play back now to Lee Collins. And field pass. And it's with Clements. Intercepted by Ollie Lee. And the player's gone down there after the ball had been played, and the referee sees that as a, a foul by Alan McCormack. So Forest Green. have a word as well. It's uh, going to be a free kick just on the edge of the area. It's a dangerous position this for the Hatters to be defending. So it's fairly central, just outside the box. Take it. <coughs> it's 28 yards from goal. I know that because the wall stood on the 18 yard line. So Laird is over it. not led, it's going to be right footed, it's taking deflection off the wall and comes out for a throw in, Bruce Brown it was who took it in the end, curled one off the wall and thrown on this right hand side for Morris Green. And they've got taken that now down by the right side, it's Osborne, plays it off Potts, another throw down by the corner flag, he was looking to try and get uh, the corner out of that but it's uh, just gone the wrong side of the on a flag as far as he's concerned. Right side for Luton. Brown on the possession now for Forrest Green. On this right hand side, a bit of skill, he's got away from McCormack. And Panzi puts a challenge in. Blocked by uh, Hilton then, and then McCormack can dig it away. And Forrest Green lay the ball back into their own compared to Hollis. It's played by Belford, wide to Rawson. And now forward by Forrest Green on this right hand side. Lee Collins comes away with it, infield ball. And he's found Osborne. Osborne lays it out wide to the left hand side there. Laird's got plenty of space. Laird can put a cross into the area. It's headed away by Sheehan back there defending. So Panzer was chasing after it and the keeper did on this near touch line. And Panzu makes a break down the line. Collins is there with it. And Panzu's going to look to uh, cut in field. He's got support from Ollie Lee. And Panzu just taking perhaps too long there. Plays it back to McCormack. Stacey, Ollie Lee. And down the right hand side, it's with Stacey. Stacey looks to get across in, it's taking a ricochet up into the air. It's uh, Collins that's looking to get underneath it. Hilton's there again and Belford denies him. Collins just this time in the drop there and it bounced up over his head. Hilton went round the back and got a touch in and somehow Belford's blocked it on the line once more. 
Well, that's three saves, two of which he's not known a lot about, and another of which he threw his body up into the air. As uh, Houghton then tugged back on Brown, and then the referee does give the free kick for uh, a foul there by Danny Hilton, who's lucky to escape a yellow card there, as he quite clearly pulled back the shirt of uh, Reese Brown. In fact, Hilton is going to get the yellow. What was Hilton doing there? Both the front two now booked with 25 minutes on the clock. So, what's the point there for the Hatters? So, Hilton gave away a silly free kick and picked up a silly yellow card as well. And Clements on this near side then is going to take it. It's a short pass infield to Rawson. Rawson looks up, gives it back out wide to Clements. Now out wide to Collins for Forest Green. Down the line it's Grubb. Grubb back to Collins. Collins now looking up. And that's a short pass to Clemens, who's given the ball away, and Ollie Lee can intercept and find his brother, who lets it go past him. Out wide to James Collins. Collins down the right-hand side. Stacey making a run. Collins cuts in field. Still with Collins. Forward ball to McCormack. Out wide to Potts. Potts on this left-hand side. Pushing forward. Conley tuning up at Cheltenham. Luton winning 1-0 here. If you're joining us late on... Uh, I follow. Lincoln Neal as Stacey links up with Elliot Lee, who turns onto his left foot, cuts back onto his right, shoots, keeps pulling that one away as well. Great strike by Elliot Lee once more from the edge of the area, looking for his 13th goal of the season. And it's a good save there from Belford to keep the score at just 1 0. Ollie Lee on the far side, bit of trickery, wins a corner kick for Luton Town. Three corners apiece. Far side, Sheehan will look to go over to take it. Sheehan with a set piece on that far side then in front of the Forest Green fans. So there's about 120 of them, I was told, to make a journey. They've only got one block of seats on that uh, corner. Sheehan gets this one ready, just kicking away some stuff in front of the ball there. We'll look to deliver this into the box. Left foot it across the six yard box. It's pots up, but it's a header away by Forrest Green. And it's another corner this time on the near side. Machine to come over to in front of the enclosure. Mind the game, new shirts for next season. All three picks being changed. And new sponsors, one for each of the shirts. Side then to take it for Luton Town to the far post. Potts gets up with a header, it's blocked by Forrest Green. Ollie Lee's there, Hilton's there, header away by the visitors. Uh, Luton try and intercept, they're just about to not able to block it, and now the forward pass has been intercepted by Kelly Rudder from Panzu, and he can look to lay it back and across the field now to Sheehan. Sheehan on this left hand side can push forward. Down the line to Elliot Lee. Lee, cross-field pass, looking for Stacey, oh, looking for his brother, sorry, Ollie, and he can't control it. Stacey was there to support, but it's come off the boots of Ollie Lee, skidded off him, and gone out of play. Now there's a back pass from the throw-in, and it's just dealt with by Forest Green on the edge of the area. He didn't play it back to the keeper in the end. Collins then gets a whack in the face. Referee not interested in that. Forest Green player acknowledges that to Collins. Gunning it was. I hardly mentioned him in the field of wearing 16. Now with Belford. Belford out wide to this right hand side to Rawson. Rawson pushing forward. Collins for Luton comes across to put pressure on him. Elliot Lee's there. He turns him then. That was a bit clever from Gunning. And he just about got away from Elliot Lee. Having a little laugh with the two players now there involved. That's on the backside for the Luton forward from the midfielder that's just turned him one way then the other. Cross field ball is headed in, kept in by. Morris Green on the far side, and now Ollie Lee comes away with it. It's uh, blocked off, was he? No, says the referee. And it's all the way back to the keeper, Belford, to deal with. On this near side, oh, sorry, it's gone over through the centre in the end. Sheehan gets a good header away, finds Elliot Lee. Down the right-hand side to his brother, Ollie. Ollie now on 
possession, looks up. Infield ball to Hilton, lovely little flick on, but he's not going to be able to get on the end of it. Battling away. And in the end, it's uh, from behind for a goal kick to Forest Green Rovers. And it will be cleared downfield by Belford. Green Rovers. They've got possession on the far side, but they play the ball against one of their own teammates there. It's hit Dorich from Gunning. And now Sheen looks a challenge in, finds McCormack. McCormack in field to Ollie Lee, out wide. He's, uh, he's fouled. He kicks the Hatters. So McCormack. McCormack to Ray. In field to from Anzu by up McCormack. Anzu looks up, got some support on the right hand side with uh, Stacey and Ollie Lee. Anzu's out wide, he finds Ollie Lee now. Lee turns, gets a cross in, it's miscontrolled and cleared there by Forrest Green. And Anzu's quickly across to get on the end of it from the right hand side of the field to the left. Potts now finds Collins. Collins off to Hilton. Flick on there to back to Collins. Now to Elliot Lee. He's got Stacey out wide, chipped up for Stacey on the right hand side. Stacey keeps it in by the uh, byline. Still Jack Stacey going, he needs some support. He's kept the ball in play, flicks it off to Ollie Lee. Lee is there, trying to turn to get a cross in. Lee with a bit of skill. Cross is blocked though by Gunning. And it goes out of play for throwing to the Hatters that Stacey will go over to take. 31 and a half minutes played then. Luton one, Forest Green Rovers nil. Lee's on possession for Luton Town. Flicks in field. His brother comes away with it. Ollie's reverse pass to Elliot. Elliot uh, puts the Forest Green defender on his backside. He gets a cross in looking for Collins. Just too high for the number 19 on the far post. He couldn't quite get his head to that one. And it's been out for a goal kick to the visitors there. But Elliot Lee trying to set up James Collins after he turned back inside by the byline. Stuck the Forest Green defender on his backside. And it's uh, out for a goal kick for Belford then with 13 minutes remaining. It's cleared down, cleared right footed. Out of play. No, is it just kept in? Oh, it's header out anyway. It was uh, tried to be kept in there by Hollis, but uh, it's out for a Luton throw. Across the field to Potts. Potts controls it. Looks at his options. Back to Sheehan now. Sheehan has got Potts in support on this left hand side. Down Potts looks downfield to Collins. Collins looks to turn. Now McCormack. McCormack out wide to Stacey. Stacey looks at the options. In field to Ollie Lee. Now finds his brother. Back to Ollie. Looks up, he's got Potts on this left hand side. Ollie on the right goes infield in the end to Impanzu, flicks it back to Ollie Lee. Now back out wide to Elliot Lee on the touchline. Infield to Impanzu, touched off by him. Ollie Lee slides in to actually win the ball and he's got it back. Still Ollie Lee going. A release now to Potts. Under the challenge, Potts has now released Collins. Collins gets a shot in, it's charged down by Rawson. And Ollie Lee has to uh, lay it back to Alan Sheen on the halfway line. Sheen forward to Ollie Lee, flicked off to Collins. Collins out to, to Ollie Lee, back out wide now to Stacey. Patient from the Hatters. Stacey down the line to Mpanzu. Mpanzu gets round the back, looks to cut in field, edge of the area, right hand side. And Panzu tries to nutmeg the player and he does so. Panzu pulls it back, he's taking deflection. And it's a poor one because he wasn't looking for an orange shirt. And now Forrest Green on the attack down this right hand side with Grubb. Grubb looking to take on Ollie Lee who's back defending. Grubb cuts in field. Short pass now to Brown. Brown's got support out wide. Uses him now. Potts has got back to defend. Luton are back in numbers. We've got 11 minutes remaining of this first half. To the centre circle where Rawson is waiting for it. He's found Gunning. 
Gunning now out wide to the left hand side. Down the line, short pass. And now it's in, in back to Hollis inside his own half. He finds Rawson. Rawson through the centre. No, goes sideways to Hollis. Luton forwards push up. And that means that uh, Rawson plays it all the way back to Belford. Belford looks to clear it downfield. That. And now out wide to Rawson, forward, back to Rawson now, half on inside his own half. Rawson's players have pushed up, there's four inside the Forest Green half, Collins gets a challenge in. Collins is penalised there for a foul on Gunning, he's already been booked of course James Collins. Caught the midfielder late there, Collins goes over to him. The referee Lee Collins is just having a quick word with James Collins there. He says, what have I done wrong? Of all the people, it's Danny Hilton that has a word and goes over to James Collins and says, keep calm. <coughs> Lee Collins, the referee, saying no more. Or to James Collins. Coventry 3 0 up at Cheltenham now. And, uh, does put them in the playoffs. Five points ahead of Mansfield, so that would confirm the playoff positions. Certainly those teams in there, not the of final four positions but it would confirm the teams that uh, at least achieved a playoff spot and Mansfield who were the season's favourites to win the league according to the bookies would miss out on eighth place clearance downfield long ball head up out by Stacey finds some hands you know and Cormac takes over out wide to Stacey Stacey tries to cut in field Forest Green have won it back Stacey tries to win it back Cormac gets a challenge in throw into the Visitors on the far side, thrown in field to Deutsch. Deutsch turns, down the line, short one to Brown. Back now to uh, the left back Laird, in field to Gunning. Gunning out wide on the far side. It's used Osborne. Osborne onto his right foot, comes in field. Now out to the left, still with Forrest Green. And in the edge of the area, it's fallen to Brown. Brown looks to tee himself up, but he's uh, pressure on him, so he goes to Collins. Forest Green. Now he goes out wide to Clements. Clements infield again to Collins. Collins onto his left foot. Hurts a ball out wide to the left flank to Laird. Laird's got a bit of space to control it. Well, it was uh, Osborne looking for the one-two there, but uh, Laird didn't continue the run, and it goes all the way through to James Shea, and Shea can throw it out to Sheehan on this left-hand side. Sheehan infield to uh, McCormack. McCormack's got some space to look to turn. McCormack himself and now plays it wide to Elliot Lee. Lee's got Stacey making a run outside of him. As uh, Lee cuts infield onto his right foot, Lee shoots, it's blocked, and it comes back out to Elliot Lee on the right-hand side of the area. A bit of skill to control the ball. He's got Stacey in support. Lee looks to uh, put a cross in. James Collins makes a move for him. Elliot Lee just holding the possession at the moment. Lee with a bit of trickery on the edge of the area. Bundles his way through, goes down. Referee's not interested in that one either. Then Ray watches Christian Doidge and the ball bounce over the pair of them. And out for Sheehan. Sheehan now to this left hand side to Potts. Potts goes it back to Sheehan. Luton fans want Luton to push forward. Sheehan's under a bit of pressure here. Gives it back to Potts, who's going to involve James Shea now. Shea now to Potts. There's two Forest Green players have kept forward. So uh, it's a bit of piggy in the middle at the moment. And eventually Shea can clear downfield. And Stacey isn't able to get there. And it goes out for a throw in on the far side that uh, Forest Green will take. Ball. Short pass out wide. Osborne it is on the run. Flicks it back now to Gunning. Gunning looks up, plays it back to Rawson. Rawson now out wide to this right hand side to Collins. Collins pushes down the field. Collins an infield ball. Still with Horace Green Rovers. So Osborne gets away from Hilton. Cormac gets a challenge in. Osborne comes away with it. Hilton goes over. He's played the ball to Gunning. Forward pass. McCormack then goes into Osborne. Free kick's been given against Alan McCormack. He's not too happy with that one. He's going to get spoken to again by the referee. And uh, McCormack just points the finger there at uh, big Isaiah Osborne. He's a big player. He's gone down. Free gives the free kick against Alan McCormack. We've got uh, six minutes remaining until half-time. This is 
leading by that Danny Hilton goal. Accrington have scored at home to Lincoln. Ten minutes to play until half time there. Accrington won Lincoln nil. So that would confirm the championship for Accrington Stanley. And Newton will also be confirming second place and runners up. There will be a pitch presentation after the final whistle. Cross comes in, headed out by Mpanzu. trying to chase it down, but Lee Collins is there for Forrest Green, plays it out wide to the far side, and now it's pushing on, it's with Brown, Brown in field, and now there's a shot blocked there, superbly by Glenn Ray, it was Grubb that had the effort, and now Osborne is penalised for a foul on Jack Stacey inside the area, with five minutes remaining until half time here at Kenilworth Road, commentary now 4-0 up at Cheltenham, Chesterfield are beating Wickham by a goal to nil. Grimsby are beating Notts County by a goal to nil. So a couple of surprises there. Port Vale won Carlisle nil and Newport won Cambridge nil also coming through. Kelly Rudder and Panzer look to be pushed there but Brown comes away with it. Edge of the area, still a chance for Forrest Green. He's laid it back now out wide to the right hand side. Deutsch turns, shots blocked by first uh, McCormack and then and Panzer. And now it comes out wide to Potts and Potts down the line to Elliot Lee. Lee looks to turn. Lee on this left-hand side for Luton Town. Not much room on the touchline. Wins a throw in. No, he doesn't. Forrest Green throw in. Elliot Lee can't believe that. Neither can the fans in the enclosure. And the referee says it's come off him last. McCormack's done well to intercept that one, though, and lay it back to James Shea. Shea will now look to clear downfield. Not the best of kicks, but it will find Elliot Lee, who can chest it down and lay it off into the path of Dan Potts. Potts on this left-hand side, infield ball to Lee. Lee flicks it off to Mpanzu. Nice turn, Mpanzu's laid it through to Hilton. Hilton on the left-hand side of the area, still Danny Hilton. Gets a shot in, blocked by the keeper again. Ollie Lee was waiting for it. Danny Hilton took too long there inside the box. It was a tight angle, the keeper's blocked it. It wouldn't fall for Ollie Lee and Forrest Green get it away, but it was a lovely through ball there to release Danny Hilton but he just uh, perhaps took a touch too many and it went wide. And uh, then his shot from a tight angle, blocked by Belford once again. A few Luton fans thought that had squeezed in. And now there's a lovely ball to Stacey inside the area, puts it across, Collins is there, he can't get in No, he went past with his wrong right foot instead of going with his left. It was squeezed in there by Jack Stacey, a lovely through ball pass, I think from Kelly Rudder from Panzu. Out wide to Stacey, fizzed a low ball in, crossed the area. Collins running in, went with his right foot. I think he would have perhaps been better going with his left, but either way, it was a difficult one to get on the end of. And uh, it is out for a throw in on this near side. Forrest Green will take it. Inside, they play out. Hilton then on the edge of the area. Has got possession back for Luton Town. Lays it off to his brother, finds Hilton. Hilton looks to release Collins, but uh, has been intercepted. And now Ray finds McCormack. McCormack looks up. Forward ball to Ollie Lee. Out wide to Mpanzu, first time. Potts on the overlap, and panzu has gone into the area to Ollie Lee. Lee, with a bit of skill, runs into trouble. And uh, then Lee is penalised. And goes Gunning. And Ollie Lee's not happy with that decision. Gunning packs him on the head. And it will be a free kick to the visitors with two minutes remaining in this first half. Luton lead by one goal to nil then. Stevenage two exit to nil now. And Stanley Hilton's goal in the 20th minute that separates the sides. Luton have been the better team throughout. And it's going to be cleared downfield by Belford. And it's going to take one bound to go out of play. Good throw in to Luton Town that Potts will take. with it, it's taken off him though, now Potts chips one up, Hilton's offside, the flag's going to go up, uh, Hilton I think knew that, so he tried to make the break, so a good kick to Forrest Green once more, on this near side, short, Lee 
trying to put the Fleming under pressure. Goes back to midfield of Gunning on the edge of the area. Now cleared downfield by Belford. Ray's underneath it. Solid header from him, but straight to a black and white shirt. And now they're on the attack through Laird. So Ray jumps in with the challenge. Laird skips it. He's on the edge of the area now. Laird drills in a shot. Shea's fumbled it. And then Sheehan is there to recover. And he can look to chip it to safety to Ollie Lee. But Shea just fumbled that effort there from uh, Scott Laird. And uh, now Ollie Lee down on the far touch line, raise it off to Glenn Ray. Ray can look up and clear downfield. There's a uh, just out of play there by Laird. And I think Ray might just be spoken too quickly there by the referee for that uh, jumping challenge. Elliot Lee flicks the ball forward from the Cormac. The Cormac dummies the pass and then gets the end of the Now Kelly Rudder can bounce along the run. And bounce him making a run. He's got Collins inside the air. Collins uh, overruns the ball, lays it back to Potts. And uh, Collins is actually offside the anyway. The officials indicated that there will be a minimum of so right one there, James Collins and, uh, got himself That's offside because uh, he could watch the run of the defenders all the way. He should have just stayed onside there. But, uh, one minute of time added on coming up soon. It's uh, going to be a free kick then inside the area for Royal Green. Long ball downfield, header away by Ray. Luton's looking to get there, nodded on by Rawson. And now it's one back by Elliot Lee who finds his brother. He's missed kick this one straight up into the air. You can see the frustration on his face as soon as he cleared it. Ollie's won it back though and found McCormack. McCormack can help it wide to Potts. Potts on this left hand side, making a run down the line. Potts looks up and he's got support here you know, from Panzer who's gone backwards to McCormack, but that is the half time so whistle here at the Henry with the Hatters leading by a goal to nil, scored by Danny Hilton in the uh, 20th minute. some chances for Luton Town, several of them, plenty of them, Belford has done well to save from close range a couple of times, and Cormac's still complaining to the referee about some of the free kicks he's given, but the Hatters are looking to end their Kenilworth Road campaign for this season with a victory, and they do go into the break by one goal to nil advantage, courtesy of Danny Hilton in the 20th minute, I'll be back in uh, just under 15 minutes time for the second half here, Luton 1, goals 3 nil. It really is a cracking afternoon. It's cold though, it's wet, but the Hatters are leading by a goal to nil in their new kit for next season. Sponsored by Indigo Residential, you can pre-order online from this afternoon all three kits. And uh, I say there is very limited supply at the moment, but then the rest are due uh, in the next few months. So uh, get those pre-orders in, have a look online for all the announcements about the kits. And also an announcement as uh, Forest Green have got possession from the kickoff, they're just playing it back to their keeper now. But uh, welcome David Wilkinson as the new chairman of Luton Town Football Club. Of course, Nick Owen stood down from the position last year, but uh, David Wilkinson comes into that position, announced this afternoon before kickoff as well, who will be the new chairman of Luton Town Football Club. Forest Green attacked down that right hand side then. Uh, we're uh, First minute of this uh, first half, Luton in goal, James Shea. Back four of Dan Potts, Alan Sheehan, Glenn Ray and Jack Stacey. In midfield, Pelly and Rudder Panzu on the left, Ollie Lee on the right. McCormack at the base of the diamond and Elliot Lee forward with Hilton and Collins up front. On the bench, Marek Steck, the goalkeeper, James Justin, Scott Cuthbert, Harry Cornick, Jake Jervis, Flynn Downs and Luke Gambin. Forest Green on the attack, they play it out to this left-hand side. Laird's got some space, puts a cross in, it's gone right the way through, missed by Deutsch. And out on the far side now, it comes to Collins of Forest Green, plays it back to Brown. Brown's got some space on the edge of the area, lays it off to Grubb, back to Brown, drilled to the edge of the box, outside of his boot, the shot comes in, and Cormac's got a foot to it, puts it up into the air, but it's going to bounce and go out of play for a corner kick to Forest Green, the first of the second half then. Here at Kenilworth Road, Luton lead by goal to nil, Danny Hilton with it. What a change seven days makes. Glorious sunshine in Carlisle, really warm temperatures, t-shirt and a jacket was all that was required. Come on five layers now, hands are cold as well, but we battle on. For the final time here this season, always strange leaving the ground, knowing you're not back till July, August time for the pre-season friendlies and now on the far side the corner comes back to the taker it cross comes in it's headed clear by Alan Sheehan Elliot Lee on the edge of the area he takes a 
touch and then is fouled by, I think, Osborne there. And it will be a free kick to Luton just outside their area. Eddie Rudder from Panto takes it from nowhere near the correct position. Absolutely nowhere near. And it's kicked all the way back now to Sheehan to take from the right place. He takes a 1-2 to keep a shape. And then left footed clears down the line. It's a long clearance, it's going all the way through, zipping off the wet surface before rolling harmlessly out for a goal kick to Belford. So, in the luminous green, who's blocked a few in this. Uh, Game. A couple that he's known nothing about, just thrown his body out and made it big. And clears it downfield. Luton's been denied. And he's got the goal as well, though. McCormack with a header on. Ollie Lee flicks it on. Forrest Green win it back, but give it straight to Ollie Lee. Lays it off to Impanzu, all turns, comes away with it. Still Impanzu. Elliot Lee just overruns it slightly from the pass. And now Forrest Green have it back, and they're on the attack, and the Luton fans are making some noise as it goes through the legs there of Alan Sheehan. Potts is uh, penalised there for a foul on Christian Doidge and Potts has got to keep calm and escape a yellow card in this game because he is still walking a tightrope. If he was to be booked today and next week, Dan Potts would get a free match ban for 15 yellow cards in the season. So if he can just get through this afternoon, then if he was to pick up a yellow next week, it won't matter. So, free kick then to Forest Green Rovers, just outside the area, right hand side slightly, just outside the D. And Grubb is there, Laird is there as well, if the left footer fancies a chance. I think Grubb is the one lining it up though. Long line there from uh, the referee with his foam on the pitch inside the area. Grubb that's running up to the ball now, right footed, curls it over the wall and over the bar. Cooper Shea happy just to watch that one go over the top, not causing him any trouble there. The goal kick. Forrest Green is pushing players up, so Shea says, I'll tell you what, you lot all go downfield and I'll give it a big kick. That's what he's going to do now. Put it from Shea downfield. Mansfield have equalised at Yeovil, but Steenish three exits in the middle now. This is a free kick inside the Luton half. A free kick to Forest Green Rovers. Exeter would miss out on automatic promotion. If they don't uh, get the points, they just don't look like to do three more down. Exeter four, they do two points behind with them. but also almost the scoreboard at the Oak Road end with a cross from the left-hand side. It would mean that Notts County, Exeter and Wickham are the three teams as it stands fighting for that final automatic spot. Wickham are losing at Chester, oh sorry, are drawing now at Chesterfield. Notts County are losing at Grimsby. Next to the side are losing at Stevenage. Right-footed from Shea, moved down forward from the Luton goal kick. To play by Laird. Laird into the Hatters. Man is near side. Full voice from the Luton Town fans this afternoon. Going by Stacey down the line. Wilson gets there to nod it on. Collins chests it down. Plays it wide to Stacey. Stacey looks up, plays it back to Ollie Lee. And he's coming towards the halfway line. Turns one way, then has to lay it back to. Ray, Ray cross forward into the centre of the Luton half for Sheehan. Sheehan's going to play it back to Shea. Shea right footed, clears downfield. Header away by Forrest Green, goes straight up in the air. Ollie Lee's watching it. Header away there by Osborne. McCormack's underneath it, finds Ray. Ray finds Stacey. Stacey looks ahead. Infield ball to Collins. Collins turns. And off to Sheehan. 
chips one up. Looking for Hilton's run right inside the area. Hilton tries to head it back to Collins. Laird's intercepts. Finds Belford, who just clears it downfield. Strangely, the Hatters have only played five times previously on this date here at Kenilworth Road. Two wins and draw and two defeats. Last time back in 1990 when Ian Dowie scored against Crystal Palace. Shay Lane off now to Ray. Ray looking downfield. Osborne for Boris Green looking to turn. Deutsch goes down on the edge of the area. Out wide to this left hand side now to Osborne. Osborne back to Laird. Laird in field to Brown. Brown lays it off to Doidge inside the box. Chance, shot, goal. 1-1. Doidge inside the area, created the space in the 53rd minute. Fires past James Shane. And Doidge celebrates his 24th goal. Well, it was neat into play. You can't get the top scorer space inside the area like that. Controlled it, cut back onto his right foot and he smashed it past James Shea. He's still the Luton fan to celebrate though. Singing away because they're being promoted this season to League One. They would like to see a victory though to end out the season. Alan McCormack having a few words there with Alan Sheehan. And Sheehan's the captain, don't forget. McCormack, money to him. Uh, you can't give the freedom of the area to Christian Deutsch. We'll do exactly that. Score the equaliser. James Collins and a few words with James Shea from the long range there. Not his fault. And his fan cuts back to kick in. So the Hatters have conceded here at Kenilworth Road 1 1. Milton back to McCormack. McCormack out wide to Stacey. There's been one way traffic in this game as well. I think that's the first shot, second shot possibly they've had on target. Forest Green find themselves level as Stacey plays it down the line, Laird intercepts, puts it out for a throw, Stacey throws it out to Ollie Lee, Ollie trying to win the ball back, Osborne is keeping it in by the touchline, shipped forward by Forrest Green, and the Cormac's won it back on the halfway line, he's got a touch to put it out of play, throw into Forrest Green on this near side. puts a shot and it's deflected, comes back to his right foot, Shea is down close range, there was uh, Deutsch to put pressure on the Luton fans now, just wanting more from their team in this second period. Ten minutes played then, 1-1 one, one now, to Luton and Forest Green Rovers. Luton won two more earlier in the season, huge kick this from Shea, bouncing, well it's not going to bounce because the header, but it would have dropped about the 18 yard line. Potts lays it forward for Collins. Collins with a back heel to Elliot Lee. Lee looks up, crossfield pass to Stacey. Ollie's uh, in support for Stacey. Ollie Lee's there ahead of him. Stacey just holding on to possession. Finds Elliot Lee, still going. Elliot Lee lays it off to Hilton. Hilton looks to turn, back out wide to Elliot Lee. On the right hand side, Hilton continues his run. Lee skips past one challenge, looking for the return pass from Mpanzu. Uh, Forest Green have just about got it away, and now they look to clear downfield. It's chipped ahead, but Ray's there. And Ray shins one up into the air that Forrest Green are going to deal with with a header forward. But Ray's there to head it back again. Collins battling, header by uh, Rawson. And now goes back to the keeper, Belford, to look to clear. As Ray gets a header on. And now it's flicked forward by Deutsch. Deutsch gets round the back of Stacey down the left-hand side. Plays it off to Osborne. Second win this from um, Forrest Green. Putting some pressure on the Hatters that we've not seen in this game wide on the far side to Collins. Collins looks up. He's blocked by Hilton, comes back to him now. This is Collins and Forrest Green, of course. Infield ball. Forrest Green looking comfortable on it with Grubb at the moment. He's uh, intercepted by McCormack. Flipped out looking for Ollie Lee. He skips a challenge, play continues. Down the line he's released his brother. Elliot Lee on the run. Coming back there is Gunning. Gunning there has surely tricked Elliot Lee will be a free kick over on the far side to Luton Town, just outside the area, left hand side. Sheehan will come over to look to deliver this one into the box. The over 
Woodbury taking the lead against Mansfield, 2-1 now. Hilton's there, but Belford's got a fist to it just to punch it away. And Hilton was up, so was Potts, I think. And it's now Forest Green attack down this near side. And uh, Luton try and come away with the ball. Holly Lee comes away with it, and Cormac has been penalised. And Osborne goes down, and McCormack tells him he dived. Osborne and McCormack having a few words there. And the referee comes over to get involved. And still McCormack, a few words there with uh, Zaire Osborne, the way he hit the deck. And Cormac was moaning in the first half. And Cormac, I think, is going to be showing a yellow card for the number of fouls this afternoon. And Cormac, in the 59th minute, picks up the third yellow card of the afternoon for Luton Town. They're making a change. Robbie's being replaced by Tavon Campbell. Substitution for Forest Green Braves replacing number eight, Dale Grubb. Grubb eventually making his way over to the far side. He's number 25, Tavon Campbell. Tavon Campbell. He's uh, coming over now. He's uh, not the attacker, so he's got plaster cast on his left arm. It's Reuben Reed. It's Reuben Reed that's come on actually. So, uh, it's not Campbell. Uh, certainly, the number held up I thought was 25. But, uh, so, comes out of play on this near side. It will be a throw into Luton Town. And it's Reed that's come on. It's Reuben Reed that's come on for Forest Green, not Campbell. gets a shot in, it's blocked, and it's uh, out to play for a throw in on this near side, Forest Green getting a bit of memento, momentum. been blocked off by Elliot Lee and releases Collins. Collins has got Hilton making a run through. He's got uh, Elliot Lee there as well and pans are out wide of him. Still Elliot Lee. Oh, he's taking a touch too many there. He's still got possession though, Lee. His brother's waiting for it. Ollie, the referee's got in the way and uh, the move breaks down but Elliot Lee there should have released him pans who earlier but didn't and now Forrest Green can attack and push forward and uh, is intercepted by Sheehan in the end. And Sheehan now comes away with it for Luton Town. Plays the ball, and a strange one there. Not sure who that is to. Frustration here for the Hatters as Forest Green are getting some momentum in this game after that equaliser from Christian Deutsch. He's been caught 2-0 up now against Cambridge. In a game that matters little. Down on this left-hand side then. Forest Green on the attack. Pushing forward, left footed, it's through the centre, Reed misses it and it goes on to Brown. Brown now's returned the ball to Reed. Reed making a run, Reed shoots, and it's just wide, agonisingly wide there for Ruben Reed. And the substitute has just come on. And it's behind for a goal kick, and the Luton fans needing to make some noise to get behind their team. And they've only drawn four games in the Football League this season after taking the lead first. All the others they've won. The Hatters fans trying to make that noise to uh, team back up and running because certainly Forest Green have had a good spell for the last 10 minutes after scoring that equaliser. Hilton can't get there and uh, Forest Green has got possession just outside their area from Shea's kick downfield. 
this left hand side then it's played forward but it's coming out of play from the visitors and it will be a throw in to Luton on this near side. Jack Stacey takes the throw down the line, headed back in field. Collins has got the ball for Luton. Has he been held? No, says so the referee. Five three and clear. Ball comes out of play, throwing on this near side. And there'll be another change for Substitution for so Bruce Reed. Charlie Cooper coming on now. Cooper replacing Commons. You can suddenly see the board much easier. I wonder if they've changed the bulbs and they've done something because I don't remember seeing that so well in previous games. So in the 64th minute now. Cooper slowly goes over to the replay. So second change of the afternoon for Forest Green Rovers. Still raining, still cold. 1 1 the score. Stacey. Down the line. Collins gets up, he's headed clear. And McCormack's there for Luton. Elio Collins is underneath it. Ollie Lee lays it out wide to Potts. Potts down the left hand side. He's got uh, Hilton making a run. Hilton dummies the ball through his legs on the left side of the area. Hilton gets round to the byline. Cuts back in field. Still Hilton. Lays it off to Potts. It bobbles up against him. He's got possession though off to uh, Elliot Lee. Lee on the far side gets a throw in for Luton Town that Potts is there to take quickly but nobody's making a move for him. That frustrates down Potts and now Ollie Lee does make a run and Lee comes away with it and under pressure he turns and now tries to release Potts but it doesn't come off and Panzu those won the ball back for Luton and Panzu on the left hand side of the area lays it to Ollie Lee, pulls back to Elliot Lee, he's missed kicked it completely. Brown on the edge of the area has come away with it and he lays the ball forward and now uh, Forrest Green on the attack. And McCormack comes sliding in. What a challenge that from Alan McCormack. You can see the slide mark on the pitch. It's a good six, seven yards there. He had to time that right because he's already on a yellow card. As now Deutsch dummies it. Sheehan takes possession. Alan McCormack's name rings around Kenilworth Road. <laughs> you could see that sliding tackle coming in a mile off. And Sheehan now for the Hatters. Just for the ball to Stacey on this right hand side. He looks up. He's got Collins in support. Lays it in field. That's a poor ball there from Stacey. Who won the Young Player of the Year award last week at the Supporters Trust presentation night as chosen by manager Nathan Jones and his management team. And it's uh, back now for Belford. To look to clear down field. And with Forest Green to attack. We've got uh, an attendance of 10,029 here this afternoon. Shot comes in from range and Shea just uh, gets an arm to it. It's still with Forrest Green though and they've got a chance from Cooper the substitute. Laid off now, shot comes in, it's blocked by Potts and now Elliot Lee chasing after it. Lays it back to Potts, Potts forward to Hilton. Hilton with a heavy touch, just about comes away with possession. Lays it off now to Mpanzu, first time ball for Collins. Collins under pressure, barged off it on the halfway line. And it will be a free kick to the Hatters. And I think it's a yellow card as well for the number five, Lee Collins. In the 66th minute. And it will be free kick then for Sheehan to take. 10,029 the attendance, 117 Forest Green Rovers fans in that attendance. As Elliot Lee goes down, foul on him by Cooper, the substitute. This is then being held one all. Sheehan plays it across the area to right across the field to Ray and to Stacey on the halfway line into the centre circle to McCormack. McCormack cross field ball, that's a beautiful one to Elliot Lee, who controls it, brings it down on the left hand side of the area. Lee onto his right foot, looks to put a shot in, no turns back one the other way, flicks it off to uh, uh, Collins, still Luton attack, Collins out wide to Potts, Potts delivers it, oh it's a deep cross, it's a poor one, but it's uh, not dealt with there by Laird and he's actually put it out for a corner kick. So, uh, not good work there from Scott Laird. So, it's out for a corner on this near side. Uh, 
comes over to take it. lays it back to Sheehan. Sheehan left footed, curls one into the air, it's headed out by Forest Green again, and Panzu heads it down inside the box, Forest Green can't clear, now they do hack it away, Stacey's underneath it, he heads it forward, Forest Green play it back though, McCormack's there, McCormack can control it, McCormack turns one way, then lays it off to Stacey, but uh, he doesn't lay the pass quite right for Jack Stacey, who didn't uh, recover in time, and Forest Green have got a throw in, a bit sloppy there from McCormack and Stacey. Forest Green on this near side, have got possession through Osborne. He lays it through and it's going all the way to keeper James Shea. Rain starting to uh, come into the press area now. Feeling just a little bit uh, damp. Now out wide to Stacey on this right hand side. He looks up, infield ball to Panzu. Now to McCormack. McCormack across the field to Dan Potts. Potts looks infield to Ollie Lee. Lee on possession for Luton. Into the centre circle, he looks for McCormack. Deutsch slides in but misses, and McCormack is able to still come away with possession. Now to Stacey. Stacey back to McCormack. Ollie Lee makes a run. Stacey is uh, forward to Collins, though. Stacey's still there. Collins uh, doesn't use him and goes to McCormack. Now finds Mpanzu. Back to goal, though. Mpanzu turns. Bit of skill, bit of speed. Can he get beyond? Yes, he can. And Panzer on the right hand side of the area. Drills in across the area. And now Danny Hilton's there. Hilton shots blocked. It bounces back off Hilton. And then Panzer's offside. And it will be a free kick to Forest Green Rovers. But Danny Hilton there had a shot. It ricocheted off a Forest Green player. And then hit Danny Hilton again. And Panzer was offside around the back with 20 minutes remaining. It's still 1 1. Another kennel of road. is being held by a team 18 places and 37 points below them. And since their goal, Forest Green have uh, had a bit of pressure and Luton have had to recover from that. Hollis gets a header on. Sheen's underneath it with Reed. Reed, of course, the former Clinton Exeter player. Sheen then beaten to it. Brown lays the ball off, but Ray's quickly there and he's intercepted and found in Panzu. And Panzu spots the runner, Collins, over on the left-hand side. That's a delightful ball to Collins. Collins has got some support. The challenge comes in, though. And James Collins loses possession. And it's uh, Forrest Green that can now attack. On the far side, Ollie Lee gets a challenge in. Forrest Green have still got possession. And then uh, a couple of Forrest Green players just sat on the ball there. And in the end, Luton has got a free kick. An indirect one. Because the uh, Forrest Green player was just putting his legs over the ball stopping a, a challenge coming in. So a light rain this afternoon, it's just about easy now. Sheehan on the possession, blocked by Deutsch. And it's out for Sheehan to take the throw in on the far side of the field. Coventry now 5-1 up at Cheltenham. Cheltenham had pulled the goal back there. Mansfield 2-2 at Yeovil. McCormack lays it off to Sheehan. Sheehan back to Shea. Shea clears downfield. Stacey tries to come away with it, but it's hit Reed, and now Forrest Green have got possession. Mansfield wouldn't be able to get into the uh, top seven without a victory today. On this left hand side, Forrest Green attack. Laird has got the ball for them in field, short pass there to Cooper, back now to Osborne, Cooper and Osborne playing it around between themselves, Osborne and Cooper still passing it, Cooper then in field to Brown, he turns, and now it's chipped out wide and Laird on the overlapping run has got some space, puts a cross into the box and Panzu's there to chest it down, tries to come away with the ball, and Panzu there takes back to test and now he's got Lee, and now there's a four on three for the Hatters. Crossfield ball goes to Elliot Lee. Good run this. He's got Hilton out wide of him. Still Elliot Lee. Lee inside the area. Still going. Is he brought down? No, says the referee. And Elliot Lee can't believe that one, but he had support there from Danny Hilton. He could have laid it off to him, but he made the break inside the box. Luton had a four on three, and it didn't come to anything. But there's certainly an appeal there as Lee went down, but he's gone down a few times today 
optimistically, and whether that's in the referee's mind, when he's not sure, he tells Elliot Lee to stay on his feet now. Get up, and uh, Lee back on the halfway line. He made a great run, but I just think he should have released the ball. Now there's a nice layoff. Shot from uh, Doidge goes over the bar, and Shea gathers it on the rebound. Got it out of first gear in this one, really. Shane looks to clear in this second half. Very little to get excited about. Clearance downfield by Shane. Hilton misses it in the air. And Cormac can take the possession for Luton Town. with it, fights Hilton, Hilton's got the pains of making a run, plays it wide though to Stacey, Stacey's got some space on the right hand side, looks up, crosses one to the far post, there's nobody there though, and it's easy for Forest Green to clear, and now Stacey's chasing after it once more, and McCormack is there to take the possession, no, he leaves it to Stacey to take the throw, and it's Stacey on this right hand side, down the line, Collins is there, Collins gets a cross in, takes deflection, goes behind for a corner to Luton Town, second of the second half, on this near side. Sheehan will come over to take it. one in now, into the six yard box, keeper punches clear, down goes a Luton player, I think it's uh, Ray that's in there, taking a whack on the head for his troubles, blocked off out to play on the far side, throw in to Forrest Green. Lays it back to Sheehan. Sheehan looks at the options, not too many of them, and then chips one downfield. Luton's uh, letting it go past, but the head is clear by Boris Green. Two of their players go for the same ball. Cooper misses it, so Brown takes it away. And now it's back to Osborne on the halfway line. Plays it forward here to Laird. Laird on the attacking run down this left hand side. Infield pass to Brown. Brown back to Osborne. Osborne to Cooper. Cooper out wide to the right hand side. Controlled. Uh, by Forest Green Rovers, infield ball to Cooper, Cooper lays it forward straight to Sheehan, Sheehan chips one up and he's giving it away, no, Ollie Lee gets a foot to it, Forest Green complained there was a high foot but it certainly wasn't, the Forest Green player ducked into it and as Hilton tries to dummy it beyond him, the ball goes out of play for throwing on the far side and manager Nathan Jones still not making any changes, I perhaps would have expected Harry Cornick to get a run out by now or maybe Jake Jervis but uh, Cornick, the young player with a speed and nothing to impress but uh, 14 minutes remain in this game the last one at Kenilworth Road as we said don't forget you can pre-order the new kits for next season online through the shop at lutontown.co.uk and now they're playing around with possession over on this left hand side to Laird, Laird looks in field it's got Laird for Forest Green Rovers, cross field pass it's uh, kept in play on the far side by Collins for Forest Green. Lee Collins, same name as the referee. He officiated our 3-0 victory at Plymouth on the opening day last season with this official. He's not done many games and now there's a miscontrol there from uh, Laird and Collins for Luton comes away with it, finds Mpanzu. And Panzu making a break down the right hand side, getting back to defend there is Hollis. And then panzu has got the better of him and Panzu can't quite keep it in and it's gone out for a goal kick. And Kelly Rudder from Panzu did his best there. Harry Cornick looks as though he is going to be coming on shortly. Just putting his GPS best on by the look of it. Excuse me there, the atmosphere around Kenilworth Road just uh, quieting down just a little bit at the moment. 
Cutters will confirm second place though this afternoon. As they're four points ahead of Wickham as it stands. Throw in two Forest Green on this near side. That's of course unless Wickham turn it around late in the game. And then we wouldn't have the presentation for the runners up medals this afternoon. Wickham drawing at the moment. Oh no, they are now winning, sorry. So they are winning. So uh, that would mean Luton just have to maintain the point that they've got. Matrimonium over on the far side, ball goes out of play. And it's down. Fox has got a throw in for Luton Town. Thrown in field to Sheehan. Sheehan off forward to McCormack. McCormack out wide to Potts. Potts looks up. High ball downfield. Luton underneath it. No, headed away by Forrest Green. And another header forward, this time to Gunning. Out wide on the far side. Still Forrest Green attacking. Looking to play the ball through. Reed is there, but uh, Sheehan's done well to intercept. And then Ollie Lee finds Potts out wide to Elliot Lee. He's uh, going to lay it off to Potts, back in field to Elliot Lee. And he chips one out wide for the run of Stacey. Stacey on his right hand side, controls it on the run. That's a super run there from Stacey, coming up level with the edge of the area. Still Jack Stacey going. Tries to get a cross in, takes a deflection. Out of play for a corner to Luton Town. Back and run that from the right back with uh, 11 minutes remaining. Luton fans making some noise once again. And uh, Corner puts his top back on, on the dugout, in the dugout. So, Stacey comes over, uh, Ollie Lee, sorry, comes over to take this one. And Lee and Sheehan of uh, corner kick duties. So, Ollie Lee looking to curl this one in. Right footed. High one to the far post. Sheehan uh, was there, he's, he's, there, he's being held. Hilton was the one that had made the run. Potts on the left-hand side has got possession. He gets a cross back in. It goes right the way through to Ollie Lee. Lee drills in low, across the area. It's blocked by Forrest Green. Collins has then got a block to it. It's come out wide to Lee once again. Lee curls one far post. Surely Hilton being held. Referee doesn't see that. And uh, header clear to Elliot Lee, left-hand side of the area. Still Elliot Lee back across goal. It's taken deflection and wide for another corner. Good pressure this from Luton Town late in the uh, game. Ten minutes remaining now. 1-1 one, one it is still. If you're joining us late, Danny Hilton scored in the 20th minute. Luton had several chances in the first half. Keeper Belford denied them on numerous occasions. But then eight minutes into the second half, Christian Doig equalised. Sheen delivers this one. It's Potts with a header back across goal. He'll, uh, Ray beaten in the air. McCormack gets it down to Ray. Ray out wide to Sheehan. Sheehan on to his left foot to try and get a crossing. No, he cuts into the area. Still Alan Sheehan, is he tripped? No, says the referee. Ball was won, says the, the official Lee Collins. And now it's Forrest Green that can attack on this near side. And it's uh, Brown making the run. And Panzu is here to defend up against Brown. Reese Brown. Oh, Sheehan made the run. The referee said the defender got the uh, contact on the ball before Sheehan went down. Cross comes into the area, headed clear by McCormack. Hilton is there. Hilton, though, beats himself. It hits one foot onto the other. And now he's played in field, and Gunning comes away with it for Forrest Green. Ray tries to get a challenge in. Stacey blocks it. Out of play on this near side. And I think we're going to see Harry Cornick come on in a second or two, are we? No. Throw in it is for. Right now we are seeing Cornet come on. <laughs> so he will replace James Collins. Substitution for Luton Town makes the noise for number 19, James Collins. And that's in the 82nd minute. Collins will be disappointed he's not going to get the opportunity to make it 20 league goals for him this season in this game. He's got one more to try and do it. Collins leaves the field now in the 82nd minute. Not long for Harry Cornett. The referee's going over to get some water on board. Collins gets and his the round of applause. Harry Cornett. Cormac makes a run, Cormac makes a foot to it, 
McCormack lays it off to Hilton. Hilton now tries to feed it through. McCormack is caught late after the ball has been played. And that's a free kick to the Hatters. Just getting a few words there from Danny Hilton. So a free kick that uh, Glenn Ray perhaps will take. We've got seven and a half minutes remaining. Celebrations will begin at the full time whistle. So basically, what's due to happen is the players will leave the field, they'll then come back on for a presentation of their runners-up medals, and then uh, they'll leave the field again, and then they'll reappear in the director's box area so that fans can come onto the pitch to applaud them in uh, that area. So there may well not be a live interview with manager Nathan Jones this afternoon because obviously the time it will take for all of that to happen, but there will of course be video interviews uploaded uh, later this evening uh, with the uh, manager there as well, so players, manager, uh, videos will be uploaded so I'll try um, to let you know that uh, we're definitely not getting Nathan live but uh, it will, uh, it will, it's unlikely given the um, surroundings of this afternoon as it stands if Boris Green were to nick a winner and he wouldn't be having a presentation because the runners up place isn't official because uh, the Hatters would only be winning in gold difference if Wickham were to win next week and not Luton were to lose at Notts County. But as it is, the Hatters have a four-point lead because of this point here that they've got against Forest Green. Clear? Now we're on the attack. Forest Green, though. Osborne, just inside the Luton half, lays it across the centre circle to Cooper. He lays it one more on to Collins for Forest Green. And they've got six minutes remaining in this game. Still with Rovers. Possession. They're going to make their third and final change next time uh, there's a break in play. Over on the far side. A sliding challenge there from uh, Elliot Lee. Balls one back. Ox is there to win it for Luton. Challenge there on Elliot Lee. He's a free kick and that will be a foul by Cooper. Surprised we're not seeing a yellow card there actually. As, uh, challenge came in. And now uh, it is Campbell who's coming on this time to replace Rhys Brown. Substitution for the Bosnian against the Matilda Bears is 25, Tyler Cabot. In the 85th minute, this change. Far side. Going to get a throw in, a uh, free kick for that. They've got a throw in now, Dan Potts is over there. As Potts lays it back to Sheehan, Sheehan looks up, left footed, chips one over the top looking for Hilton. Hilton just bundled off it, Cornick is there, Cornick's got support from Stacey, lays it wide to him now. Stacey on the right hand side of the area, Cornick takes a run out wide, Stacey uses him. Cornick inside the box, bit of skill, tries to get round the back, tries to get the cross in, Cornick then lays it off again. Ollie Knee, yeah! inside the area after the first attack and a cross from Cornick was blocked. Ollie Lee is there and he smashes it into the back of the net. Calm as you like there Ollie Lee. Saw the opportunity and that's his seventh goal of the season of course. He scored last week at Carlisle and he's found the back of the net again today. Nice finish from Ollie Lee there inside the area. Goal scored for it's Luton 2, Forest Green Rovers 1. Very celebrating there at the Kenilworth Road end of the field. Nice finish it was. Calm and composed, saw the opportunity, knew exactly where he wanted to put it. Cornick it was whose uh, crosses first had been blocked, then he got a second one in that was cleared to Lee, and Lee did the rest. Fans going once more with the songs here. Something tells me I'm into something good. Three minutes remaining here at Kenilworth Road. Looting two. Those green, those one. And it's Cornick and the Cormac trying to win the ball 
back, but Reed's come away with it. Now it's blocked. Stacey there is there. Shea has dabbled on the inside his area. He's done well there. Good kick downfield. Milton trying to get round the back of the defender, but it's blocked off. Elliot Lee slides in, does well there, wins the ball back for the Hatters. Now it's uh, McCormack out wide to Stacey. Stacey back to McCormack. Milton inside the box still. McCormack goes it with a cross deep to the far post, and Panzer is looking to get there. It's a flick header backwards by Lee Collins. It goes out. strike from the edge of the area. Belly Rudder Companzo, we've waited all season for goals and he's popped up with a couple in the last few games here at uh, Kenilworth Road as uh, Gunning goes into the uh, book as well. Goal score for Luton Town, number 17, Belly Rudder Companzo! with Gunning after the goal. Indeed, it is a yellow from McCormack as well. Gunning was booked as well. So just to clarify there, there was a, a booking for Gunning and then a booking for Ampanzo. I'm not quite sure what happened, but uh, yellow cards there. I just saw a bit of afters after uh, Ampanzo fired one in, left hand side of the area. The format is coming off, Cuthbert's coming on. And, uh, McCormack is being replaced. I think possibly just to uh, six, save him. Captain, so, uh, second yellow for Summer City late in the game. And, uh, McCormack leads the field. With, uh, Captain Cuthbert coming on for Luton Town. The Three minutes of added time. And what an afternoon this is turning out to be. Minutes. Celebrating all around the world. And, even my mum celebrating, tuning in as well. So what an afternoon it's been for Luton Town fans. In the end, as uh, Forest Green pulled one back, and, uh, equalised, sorry, and then uh, had some pressure on the Hatters' defence. The goals in the 86th and 89th minute, then the Hatters have made it 3-1, and it's a comfortable victory for them. straight out of play down the line there. So two goals in the last five minutes for Luton Town has given them the victory. And they're still six points behind that Luton Stanley. Luton Jones uh, gives the fans what they want and that's away from their manager. Stacey gets her foot to the ball. 
Cornick comes away with it. Cornick's got a bit of space. Cornick on the attack, finds and pans it. And pans all looks up, takes it away from Hilton with a little flick of the foot. Elliot Lee to a panzer. Elliot Lee still going, charging his way through. Still Elliot Lee on the edge of the area. Hilton. Hilton's got support. Lays it off to Cornick. Cornick's got Stacey out wide. Cornick lays it back to Glen Ray. Shoots. Oh, just wide from Glen Ray. Oh, people would have been beaten if that was heading into the bottom corner. But uh, just wide of the upright there. Ray hit it first time from the edge of the box. Kept it low. As full-time score, Cheltenham won Coventry 6. Grimsby are beating Notts County by two goals to one. County equalised in the 90th minute, only for Grimsby to then score in the 90 plus three. Throw. 3-1, I think the referee's whistle is going to go very soon. Cutler gets a good header away to knock it out of play. For a throw to the visitors. Green just playing it around. We played nearly four minutes of time added on. Luton three, Forest Green one. They chip the ball forward through the centre. Cuthbert gets a header on. As uh, Reed tries to control it down. Then Ray is there. It's laid off by Reed. Gets the return ball. Reed shoots from range over the bar though. And it will be a goal kick to Luton Town. in promotion to League One. 10,029 here at Kenilworth Road. Uh, so just under, just shy of 10,000 Luton fans with 117 supporting Forest Green. And there goes the final kick of the game. It's James Shea clearing it downfield. And uh, there will be celebrations for the uh, Atlas.